If light enters a new medium at an angle greater than zero degrees and changes speed, it bends. This phenomena is called refraction. In this presentation, you will learn how to predict how light will bend when it travels from one medium to another using an equation called Snell's Law. You will also learn that when light changes speed, its wavelength changes too. Before we discuss the equation that allows you to calculate an unknown angle of refraction, you must learn how physicists typically quantify the speed of light in a medium. Physicists quantify the speed of light in a medium by comparing how much faster light would travel in a vacuum. This way of describing the speed of light in a medium is called the index of refraction. If a substance has an index refraction of 2, it means that light is twice as fast in a vacuum than it is in that medium. Water has an index refraction of 1.33. This means that light travels 1.33 times faster in a vacuum than it does in water. The index of refraction is equal to the speed of light in a vacuum, 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second, divided by the velocity of light in the medium. We see from the equation that the index of refraction and velocity have an inverse relationship. The fastest medium listed in the chart on the right is air, and the slowest, with the largest index of refraction, is diamond. Notice that the index of refraction is a unitless number. Since meters per second is on the top and the bottom of the, of the fraction, they cancel out. Light slows down so little when it enters air its index of refraction is very close to 1. When solving most problems, we round down the index of refraction to 1. To find the speed of light in ethyl alcohol, you look up the index of refraction from your reference table and plug it into the equation. Next step is to cross multiply and solve. The velocity of light in ethyl alcohol can be found by dividing both sides by 1.36. When light refracts, it changes direction and wavelength. Light's change in speed is proportional to its change in wavelength. The more light is slowed down or sped up, the more it changes direction. If the bottom medium were a lot faster than top, the light ray would bend toward point D. If the bottom medium were slower than the top, the light ray would bend toward point B. The angle of incidence is the angle between the incoming ray and the normal. In this case, it's 27 degrees. The angle of refraction is the angle between the refracted ray and the normal. In this case, 41 degrees. Now you are going to learn how to calculate an unknown angle of refraction when given an angle of incidence. In this problem, light in air hits lucite at an angle of incidence of 53 degrees and bends. We are going to use Snell's law to find the angle of refraction, also called theta 2. Snell's law states that n1 sine theta 1 equals n2 sine theta 2, where n1 is the index of refraction of the first medium and n2 is the index of refraction of the second medium. Theta 1 is the angle of incidence and theta 2 is the angle of refraction. Using the reference table, we find that the index of refraction of air and lucite is 1 and 1.5. The first medium is air, and the first angle is 53 degrees. So when we substitute, we get 1 sine 53 equals 1.5 sine theta 2. Once you've substituted the info from the problem, you have to isolate the unknown angle in the last step, you enter 0.532 and press inverse sign to get the angle. When light refracts, it bends, changes speed, and wavelength. Since the wavelength in the second medium is smaller, the second medium is slower. When the speed of a wave changes, so does its wavelength. The change in speed is proportional to the change in its wavelength. When a light ray changes from one medium to another, its wavelength changes, but its frequency doesn't. Here is the equation that relates the index of refraction 
with wavelength. The one designates the starting medium and two represents the second medium. Light slows down when it leaves the blue medium and enters the yellow one. Since the speed decreases, the wavelength decreases too. While it appears as if the frequency decreases too, it actually remains the same. Remember that frequency is a measure of the number of cycles that pass a point per second. The frequency remains the same because while the wavelength decreases, this is offset by the decrease in speed. Here is the equation that relates the index of refraction n of the medium with its speed v. 1 is the first medium of the starting medium and 2 is the second medium. In this example, light moves from air to lucite to medium y and returns back to air. Let's rank each medium according to the speed. In order to find the fastest medium, we look for the biggest angle. Since the angle in air is the biggest, it's the fastest. Since medium y has the smallest angle, it's the slowest. Light refracts as it moves from water to flint glass. Which angle is bigger, the angle of incidence or the angle of refraction? Water has an index of refraction of 1.33, and flint glass has an index of refraction of 1.66. Water, with the lower index of refraction, is the faster medium and the first medium. So water being the faster medium, this means that the angle of incidence is greater. This is the end of my presentation on calculating an angle of refraction using Snell's law and how wavelength changes when light refracts.